Do not waste your money or time seeing this movie. I'm going to summarize it for you. Spoiler alert, you've been warned. Ugh, times are hard right now. I'm a Marine veteran and my wife needs experimental surgery and I don't have the money. Better go ask my corky bank robber brother. And yes, my brother is white and he's Jake Gyllenhaal. My brother, I can help you out with the money, but you're gonna have to help me rob a bank and it's gonna be quirky. Listen, man, I really don't wanna rob a bank. I just need money for my wife's surgery. You can help me rob the bank or not. <sighs> All right, but everything better not go horribly wrong and not according to plan. If that happens, I'll just think of something quirky to get us out of it. <sighs> Fine, man, but I have a conscience still, so I'm gonna be one foot in, one foot out about doing like bad guy stuff. I hope you know that. Sounds like this is gonna be a quirky adventure. <sighs> Stop being so quirky. All right, time to rob the bank. Everything's gonna be fine. It's gonna go exactly according to plan. You know what? Today seems like a great day to walk into this bank and ask the bank teller out on a date. I don't think anything can go wrong. And I'm a hostage. Listen, man, everything has gone to shit. Like, the cops have surrounded the place. We should probably just get the hell out of here. I have a better idea. Why don't we hijack the ambulance that came into this hot active shooter scene, turn on the emergency equipment, and drive around the city? The cops will never find us in that. That's like the opposite of what will make us not stick out. That sounds like a horrible idea, and I just really don't want to go to jail, dude. But while I'm doing it, I can make a whole bunch of quirky remarks. All right, let's steal the ambulance. Is your brother always like this? Yes, he is. And by the way, dude, the cops have found us. Now we're being followed by helicopters because we're driving this stupid ambulance with the lights on. I have a really quirky idea. I'm going to call our dad's criminal friend. Your dad's long-term criminal friend here. What do you want? Hey, so we're being chased in an ambulance. Can you get five more ambulances, meet us under a bridge, and then we'll paint our ambulance green, and then we'll escape? Because they won't know which ambulance is ours? Five other ambulances? Why don't I just get like five other matching fast cars? You can be more agile, you can get out of there quicker. I mean, I feel like you're underutilizing our criminal resources. We have a lot of money, guns. We could think of a better plan. A better plan won't be so quirky. All right, Corky's fine. Just don't get my son, who we've had no character development from, get killed. I'll be really mad. I don't like anything that's happening right now. You got my son killed. Now I'm going to have to kill you guys and take the money. All right, it'll be really quirky if me and you shoot everyone here and escape. Don't say that out loud. Let's just do it. All right, we got out of that one, but all that gunfire just attracted the cops again, and now we're surrounded again. Listen, your brother's like gone totally bonkers crazy, and I think you should just shoot him and end this whole stupid thing. I'm sorry, brother, but you know how I said I'd be one foot in, one foot out with all this criminal stuff. You've kind of taken it too far. I'm going to have to shoot you. Bang. You're dead. That was so <coughs> quirky of you. Oh, my God, with the quirky.